All right, Coach, what are your takeaways from the uh, the match Friday in California? So really happy we got the result. Um, that was a long, long way to go for one match. And uh, I feel like we had more time in the air than we did on the ground. But um, really, really happy. Uh, the, the game started incredibly well for us. Uh, I, thought, I thought we were in control. We hit the post three times in the first 10 minutes. We got our goal. Uh, and then... It was tough to maintain the energy, but felt like when when we needed to, we, we were able to kind of get our nose in front, and, and ultimately we were able to get the result on the road, for um, which was really important. What growth have you continued to see from Wanvi? Yeah, I mean, I think Wanvi's made obviously some big saves for us, and is is continuing to do really really well. Um, I think what we'll see from Wambi is as he becomes more and more settled, um, how we play out of the back. He's got incredible feet, and now it's just a matter of can we get all of the right decisions from Wambi and from the back line so that we're able to build out and um, not not risk having to go long and then the ball coming back down our throat. So I think that's that's what we're looking for now is to be able to, to really use him effectively in the Accomplish what you hope to during your non-conference portion of the schedule. I, I would say yes. I would say yes. Um, the ideal scenario is you learn while you're winning. And so to, to go three and one, um, unfortunately we lost the game at FGCU as a no contest. But just to get the, the, the group more cohesive, grow our understanding of how we want to play, to be able to get results while still making mistakes and, and still working through uh, Im- improving what we're trying to do. I think that was that was the goal. And so now, yeah, I think I think it's been a really good non-conference schedule. Now I'm really excited that we get into a period where we get to train and then play a game. And you have, you know, five or six days leading into every game because I think we can really raise our level and in the next two to three weeks uh, I'm, I'm hoping that we are able to take big steps forward. The step up now in competition when you start conference play preview this uh, first road match. So always difficult to go on the road and uh, but but I think now we've gone on the road a number of times we're really comfortable with it. Uh, Temple's Always a, a big challenge for us going to Philly, playing on turf is always going to be something that, that is going to be a challenge, um, but we want to get off on the right foot. And so going on the road in conference and and being able to get the results that we want, it, that's going to be important. What does your team need to make to come out of that road match with a win? We need to be better in defensive transition when we give the ball away in the buildup. And that needs to happen before we lose the ball. And where we have been vulnerable, which uh, is going to be no secret, so I'm not like I'm not giving secrets to our opponent. They're all watching the video. Is that when we turn the ball over early in the buildup, we we are conceding really high qual- <laughs> excuse me high quality chances. And so that number one is to eliminate that or or to reduce it significantly. Uh, and I think if, if we do that, then the results, that, that is the most important thing as it relates to results. Sorry. How would you assess the confidence of your team as league play gets underway? I think really high. I think um, we're confident enough to know that, that there's still much that we can improve on. But because we're getting results, because we're able to do a lot of the things that we want to do, even with the mistakes, I think we're now more ready to, to train in the right way and to put our attention in training to improving. Um, so I, I think the confidence level of this group is, is incredibly high and, and it should be high. Um, I think we have, we've, we've been able to perform at a certain level. We know there's this whole other level that we can get to. And I think that's, that's exciting. When, when, when we start to build in these next couple weeks and also get our legs back, we, we've played a game every three, four days it's tough to maintain the level of energy required um, to live at this really high level all the time for 90 minutes. But now I think we're, we're at this point where we have a high level of fitness within the group. 
and we're going to let them get their legs back so that we can produce a 90-minute performance.